Hello, it's me. Do you hear all those, like that horrible road? Anyway, it is 1.03 a.m. And I actually had like 20 minutes of a vlog earlier that I had done when I was like sitting in my like parking space before I went into my office. And I have no idea what happened to it. It's like completely gone. I mean, I literally just sat there like for 20 minutes and talked. And I have no idea what happened to it. It's not on my computer. It's not on my camera. It's completely gone from the face of the earth. So anyway, it is what it is. So, I this is not going to be a long vlog, you guys. I don't feel very well. I don't really know what's going on. My stomach is kind of hurting me a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's that I've been dieting so hard the last, like, week that I don't, I honestly, I don't know what it is. Um, I think it has to do with something that I ate for dinner tonight, which is nothing different than I ever usually eat. I got this, like, Greek salad from Fresh Time, and then I have, like, hummus and like some guac and these like pita chip things that I eat but like after like I sometimes I feel like also my stomach kind of hurts because I drink too much water I don't know if that's true or not but I am um, going to cheat tomorrow for brunch and I'm not going to feel bad about it and I'm totally excited for it so I woke up this morning and I was 223 this is crazy you guys I'm the thinnest I've been in four years. Like, by a lot. I was, like, looking through... So, anyway, I'll tell you what I did. So, I got up today. I went and got coffee. Um, Alex made a salad, like, right... He got up, like, two hours before I did. And he was, like, watching... He's been, like, watching, like, Netflix all day today. He was watching Netflix, and he went to the grocery store, and he got a bunch of stuff to make a salad. And he asked me if I wanted one. I was like, no, I'm just going to wait till I eat later and eat. And so, he did that. I went and... Um, got a coffee from Starbucks, which is way empty now. And um, then I went and I saw Tanya because Tanya just got back from Florida. So I stopped by the kennel and I talked to her for a little bit. And then um, I came home and then I grabbed all my stuff and I went to my office because I wanted to make a video about Kylie Jenner being pregnant. That was actually, like, Alex gave me a suggestion for that video, too. I mean, I already knew that, but he was like, oh, here's, like, there was more to it. So, go watch that video. Um, I smell like oil burning or something. And I know it's not my car, so it's, like, weird because there's nothing around me that smells like that. But anyway. And then I came home from filming the videos, and then I was uploading the videos, and then I... What did I do after that? Oh, then I made my dinner and then I came downstairs and Alex and I watched Project Runway together. And then I was like, I don't feel very well. Like I just, I like all day I felt like I couldn't wake up. I just, um, do you guys ever feel like that? I just couldn't wake up. I've been staying up very, very late reading you guys like till 5.30 in the morning. I'm like, I am in so many good books right now. I'm reading this book of David that's like a go ask Alice kind of thing. And I love it, um, but it's very, it, I don't know, it's just like, it, like I can't stop at just one page. It's really good. And then I'm also reading, I'm listening to The History of Wolves, the audiobook, which finally started getting really interesting, um, even though I only have like three hours left of it. And then I, oh shoot, I just turned, I, did I just turn on my Bluetooth? No. And then, um... I'm reading Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty. I was supposed to finish that book this weekend, but that's not going to happen because I was sitting outside trying to read, and it's like I have this massive migraine, and um, Alex was watching Narcos inside, and it was just like really, it sounded like really loud to him, to me. And I went inside, and he was like, babe, I can turn it down if you want me to. And I was like, no, I'm just going to go film my vlog and listen to my audiobook. I need to just like relax for a little bit. Like, I think I'm starting to have a little bit of cabin fever. I've been at home so much the last couple days. I need to, like, get out and go do something. So tomorrow we're going to brunch, and I'm going to, like, cheat like nobody's business. I'm going to get an omelet and a bagel. And, uh... And then, um... Yeah. And then I'm going to come home, and then... I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe Alex and I will watch that Lady Gaga document documentary, although I could seriously watch it tonight. I'm so dying to see it. I didn't even know it was on Netflix. Did you guys know that? 
Can I just tell you who I am totally obsessed with? Do you guys like watch uh, Loey, Loey Lit, Loey, uh, her vlogs? But do you watch her vlogs? Okay, like she has the main channel, but then do you watch the vlogs? Like I'm obsessed with her vlogs. Like her vlogs are like back in the day, like how I used to love vlogging, you know? And I was like, she's tweeted me a bunch and I've tweeted her and I think if we lived in the same town, she and I would like be like really good friends. We're very similar, very, very similar. And I was, um, I watched probably like, I bet I watched like seven or eight of her vlogs back to back today. Isn't that crazy? Do you ever get like that with people that you just like binge watch their videos? And um, I was so into it and there was something that she said in her vlog that I wanted to remember to talk about. I'm like looking at that. Maybe if I like look up her vlog. I'm telling you, the world is like totally dead out tonight. What's her vlog channel called? Her main channel is Loey Lane. Okay. And her, cha her vlog channel is called. No, that's not it. Is it Loey Bug? Yes. Yes. Anyway, I'm totally, totally obsessed. Um, and I love her, and she tweeted me out. She's like, can you move to LA so we can be best friends? I was like, of course, girl. Um, so anyway, it's just fun to like meet new like YouTubers. I watched her actually off and on for kind of a while. Um, like so in my head tonight. Alex was telling me that last night that after um, like our friend Luz like went home, she went through Steak and Shake and she got a bunch of food and she got like such bad food poison she ended up in the emergency room last night. And I'm like, oh my God, that's horrible, right? But I was like, I wonder if it was like something about being around the kids. And then I was like, oh, please don't let me get sick. I don't, I hardly ever get sick. But anyway, he said she was totally fine tonight. She was gonna stay home. They were gonna go do something. And um, they ended up not doing something because she was like still at home. So Alex is around the house. He had a little Skype date with his brother, Fufu, and then their cousin, Maya, and this other girl, Rachel, who I don't know, Rachel. And then I did my You Now stream. And oh, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to talk about. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about tonight. Isn't that so boring of me? What does it look like? I'm like looking back there, I'm like, it looks like you can see through that, but it's just like the shadow. Only the shadow knows. When I was a little kid, I used to listen to all those radio tapes. My mom would get them for me because I was obsessed, like the shadow and Fibber McGee and Molly and like American Playhouse. And they would do like the Alfred Hitchcock movies. <sighs> I loved all of that back in the day. I'm really, really excited about October because I love Halloween so much. Like, I love it. And, um, did I ever talk about my weight this morning? Well, we're going to talk about that if I haven't talked about that in a second. So, um, I'm so excited about Halloween because I've got my whole, like, month of reading almost all planned out. Well, like, not book by book, but, like, what I'm, what kind of books I'm going to read. I'm super excited about it. And then, like, Alex keeps on buying all these candles. I keep on buying all these melts. We have, like, two big Halloween events in, like, October that we have to go to. One's at Seance. I'm so excited about that. And, um... I actually have the tickets for it right here because I already bought them from Melissa. And see, it has a little Ouija board on it. Oh my God. Seance at the Bona Thompson Memorial Center. Tuesday, October 24th. Oh my God. Doesn't say anything else on it. Cheap tickets, kind of it. Who cares? I'm excited. Uh, I lost the ticket in there. Well, I'll figure it out in a second. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And then we have another thing that we're going to a party that we're gonna go to, a Halloween party. I've gotta come up with a costume. I don't know what that'll be. 
And then I'm probably, I'm sure I'll probably, we'll do like a night of haunted, ha haunted, <laughs> haunted houses. I don't do haunted houses um, because I'm epileptic, so it terrifies me um, that I'll have a seizure. But I usually go with them when they do it. Last year I didn't. Last year I just was like, you guys go and I'll meet you afterwards for food. And so they all went and I met them afterwards for food and that was really fun. But like I didn't want to wait in line for, you know, an hour so I could not go through a haunted house. How fun is that? But then we also have this thing here in Indianapolis called Connor Prairie. I may make Tanya get to this with me this year because Alex doesn't love stuff like this. And it's like a prairie settlement. And, um, like from the 1800s, like it really truly was like a settlement. How, like, the settlement house. It was a truly, it was like a prairie settlement in the 1800s. Well, they do this Legend of Sleepy Hollow thing every year where they play it outside on this huge movie screen just over and over and over. And then they have like an apple store where they have like apple and pumpkin, everything that you can buy, all kinds of desserts and apple cider and all kinds. Oh my God, it sounds so good. It is still 75 and I'm talking about Halloween. I would kind of like one year though to have like a warmer Halloween. I'm just gonna park while I talk. I would kind of like to have a warmer Halloween. I think it was two years ago. My cousin Caroline, she has a Halloween party every year. And uh, she, although I just found out that she's not doing it this year. I just wanna make sure I don't lose this ticket. I just found out she's not doing it this year. She's like, no, Peter, it's just too much. And I was like, that's cool. I talked about that on here the other day. So, um, but, like two years ago, look at my hair, dude. Two years ago, it uh, snowed on Halloween. Today, it was 92 degrees in Indiana, which is crazy weather. Let me see what it's supposed to be like the rest of the week. Crystal clear outside tonight. 91 tomorrow, 90 on Monday, and sunny tomorrow and Monday. 90 on Tuesday, 83 on Wednesday. 72 on Thursday, 72 on Friday, 65 on Saturday, 68 on Sunday, 71, 74, in the 70s all next week. So through October 7th, 70s, we might actually have a really warm Halloween this year, which would be great, you know? When I was growing up, all of the kids had to... Uh, you know, get like, wear long underwear underneath their clothes. You guys remember that? Do you see how totally out of it I am tonight? I'm like so tired. Like I took this nap. Do you guys, are you nappers? Like I can take a nap and I can wake up and one of two things happens. I'm either totally refreshed or I need to just go to bed for the night. And when I woke up today, I like, I was like, I just need to go to bed for the night. Like I was, like people even could tell on the UNAS stream, they're like, you're like, you seem kind of out of it. I was so tired. Like I have been so tired all day today. I don't know what it is. I feel like recently because I've been like reading so much, like I'm, 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 la, 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 la. I'm averaging about a book a day. Like even right now, I'm like so much thinking about this book that I'm reading that I'm so into. But it's like, I feel like my mind is like overworked right now. I know that that sounds crazy, but it's kind of like exam like week for like college students that I just feel like I'm just like, you know, like go, go, go. And um, like I was watching Alex tonight and you know, he can just sit there and he can watch like six to eight hours. I mean, no lie of Netflix, just one episode after the other. And I know a lot of people can do that, but I can't do that. Like, I just really honestly can't like... I feel like I should be reading or doing something and like, not that I should be doing it, but like I enjoy reading so much that if I'm sitting there watching a show, I'm like, well, I can watch that when I'm going to bed. Like, you know, instead of like, I'm actually awake, I should be like reading this book that I'm like so into right now instead of like, you know, later, I don't know. But Alex doesn't read and he doesn't do this other stuff, so. Do you ever notice how, like, places look scary, like, late at night? Like, even though they're totally not scary. Like, the post office. And there's not one person in there. There's not a car in the parking lot. But still, I go in there and I'm, like, think about, like, horror movies. Like, I'm going to get chased out of the po post office. Isn't that funny? Or is it just Halloween that makes you start thinking of those things? I don't know. I love Halloween so much. And then in November, I'm going to do a Buddy Reads of To Kill a Mockingbird with, like, 
my channel. You guys are like, this is so all over the place. Okay, so I woke up today. I was 223, 223 pounds, which is still a fatty, right? Um, I looked on my fitness pal. It is the thinnest I've been in four years, you guys. I already mentioned that earlier. I was so excited. I was like, I am the thinnest. And by a landslide, I was so surprised. Like, this is me being really, really honest. Like, I was looking through there, and there were some days on there that I was like, 256 to 259. I don't even remember being that heavy, you guys. Like, that's like 35 pounds heavier, 36 pounds heavier than I am right now. And I'm like fat now, you know? So, but I was very proud of myself when I woke up this morning and I worked very hard this week of eating correct or having making correct, you know, eating choices and eating better and drinking lots of water and stuff like that. So I feel very good about that. But um, I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm like the thinnest. And I don't feel like, I, I'm starting to kind of feel it, but like my shirts and stuff are feeling thinner. But like, I don't feel like I'm like the thinnest I've been in like, you know, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. A lot of people are really nice, and they're like, I can so tell that you've lost weight. And I'm like, well, I'm glad that you can, but I really can't. Like, I, even sometimes, like, when I watch, like, old videos back, like, if it'll pop up or something, and I'll watch, like, a video from, like, a year ago, I'm like, I don't feel like I look any different than I did a year ago. And while I was 23 pounds, I've lost, so, as of today, I've lost, let me stop really quick, hold on. Let me get this right. Do you guys use the app, my, uh, my fitness pal? I love it. I just don't use it a lot. I used to use it a lot for my food because it's very much like Weight Watchers, but I don't anymore. As of today, I have lost 23.8 pounds. Do you see my downward scale going? Do you see that? Look at that. People are like, well, what's your goal? Well, I would like to be like 175. Like idealistically, I would love to be 175. So it was like 50 pounds I still have to lose. But that's like a massive amount of weight. If I lost like 70 pounds, like that's a massive amount of weight, you know? I don't have any stretch marks yet. I don't have any hanging skin from the 23 pounds. But I do think that that has a lot to do with drinking water. And I think it has a lot to do with the lotion that I just, because I'm constantly lotioning, you guys. Like, not constantly. But every time I get out of the shower and every morning I get up, I always put on a vino lotion. I, I swear by a vino lotion. I like the lavender the best, but Alex is... I feel like I'm, like, repeating stuff I talked about yesterday. Like, I'm in that show, Groundhog's Day. I hate that movie. <laughs> Always makes me so nervous when I watch it. Oh. Uh, do you know what's so funny to me is that I love Sundays, but I really can't stand Saturdays. I feel like I should be, like, just hanging out and having, like, a good time on Saturdays. But it ends up being just chore day for me. And so, like, I don't really like Saturdays. And honestly, Sundays, I just totally relax. And so, Sundays, I really enjoy. But Saturdays, like, now, I'm, I'm fine. But up till, like, earlier today, like, up until I ate dinner tonight and watched Project Runway, I was, like, running around doing errands and running around doing this and doing that. Oh, we need toilet paper. Oh, we need this. Do you ever feel like there's always something that you need? That, like, drives me nuts. Like, I feel like there's always something that I need. No matter how many times I go to the store, I get home, and I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot that. You know what I mean? Like, even if I make a list, because I make lists of what I need to get in the store, obviously, I'm a list maker. But even when I make lists, I'm like, oh, my God, how did I leave that off the list? And it's always something so obvious, too, you know? The two things I forget to get the most are dog food and toilet paper. Which, every time I go to Costco, I should just, like, once a month just get them. Because we always, like, I should just put, like, first of the month toilet paper. I mean, we run out of that stuff every month. It takes us, like, exactly a month to go through a whole thing of toilet paper and dog food. So we should just, and paper towels. So in the first of every month, I should just go buy those, right? If you guys have a membership at those places and you don't buy toilet paper, paper towels, dog food, cat food, let me tell you, that's the stupidest thing. Now, I will tell you, sometimes I go in that store like that or Sam's Club or those places, you know, and I don't think a lot of the, the deals are really that fine, honestly. But toilet paper, I mean, it's $15 for what you would 
for what would last you. I mean, you, it is such a deal on what you get for toilet paper, and it's really nice toilet paper. Paper towels are like bounty quality. They're super cheap. Dog food, good dog food, super cheap. So, I just love those little, like, places. We use them all the time. Alex's mom, whenever she has parties, she always, like, wants to use our card. We take her in there and go, so. Well, I don't think I have anything else to talk about tonight, so I'm going to make this a short vlog so y'all can catch up on this. And, um, yeah. If while I'm driving around I think of something else, I'll add it, but I probably won't. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.